Battle Latini and the Mahatella Queens with Lily's Ale on Lily's Ale on. And I'm thrilled to tell you I'm down in the kitchen now. And our guest on today's podcast is Sheffield's Supremo of Easy Listening, Mr. Versatility, John Shuttleworth himself. John, lovely to see you. I've been a fan for years. Thank you very much for coming over. Um, Thank you, Andrew. Do, do you listen to much South African township jive? Uh, no, I don't. I don't. And, you know, you, you've paid me a lovely accolade, saying that you've been a fan for, for years. I wish I could return it. <laughs> um, I can't, Andy. Um, because, well, I don't know why you're laughing. Uh, some of the music you play, uh, in fact, all the music you play, with the exception of my tracks, which we're about to hear, uh, it's not my cup of tea. I, I did listen to um, a couple of your pod podcasts, are they called? Yeah. Uh, no Racy. No. Um, no Claude Rogers. No, no, no Claude. No Pointer Sisters. Vince Hill. Um, but, you know, it's, it's all right. It's nice to be here in this very strange little village. Have you been to Todmorden before? No. No, I haven't. Um, we went to Granada land, me and my wife Mary, uh, when they were doing the video, you know, and uh, Betty Turpin oh, brought the wrong organ, otherwise I'd have played that one. I can try on this one, but uh, well, maybe maybe in the next match. Right. But you know, Betty Turpin was, of course, of course, in uh, Coro, in Coronation Street. Yeah. 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 Um, but she wasn't. She didn't have many lines. Um, in fact. Just to, in case I don't do the song, it goes, We see Betty Turpin only when she's working, and all she says is, Yes, lovey, when someone wants a pint. <laughs> do, you, do you remember that? She didn't have much to do. And that's that's in my new show. Uh, John Shuttleworth's Back. Now, I was doing it before lockdown, and it was called John Shuttleworth's Back, even then. But then it was about my bad back. <laughs> yeah. Now, what's happened, Andy, is... Um, Keep wanting to call you Andrew. You call me what you like. Um, well, what happened, Mr Kershaw, <laughs> is that um, we had lockdown and my back got better. But because so such a long time had elapsed, I came to do my tour again and the title, John Shuttleworth's Back, still applied. So, that Ken... Was lucky, yeah. Well, it was. We didn't have to pay for any new posters. Yeah. Have you lived here long? Um, nine years. Yeah. You told me earlier you were the first occupant of the house. I am, yes, this house, yeah. Seems very strange. Does it not make you think there might be ghosts? Because it was stood empty for a while, didn't it? Oh, it was stood empty for six years. Yeah. yeah. But you're, well, I believe I'm billeted here tonight because, well, there may be floods later, we don't know. It's subject to flooding, isn't it? Very much, yeah. yeah. And also, nobody's got any petrol at the moment. No, they haven't, and that's why I had to come on the train. So, so you're in the, uh, the guest room tonight? I know, I'm very excited. But I do notice, uh, Andrew, or and I'm going to call you Andy, because right. that's what you're known as. Um, no complimentary sachet of hot chocolate was visible. <laughs> Can that be redressed? That was a little oversight on my part, yeah. I think we, we'll, we'll try and do something about that. Yes, uh, well, I'll be very happy. Yeah, my Austin Ambassador Wiredge. Oh, yeah, you're not in it today. No. Well, it stood for 18 months uh, under the carport. You know, not going anywhere. I was obeying the rules of the lockdown. And now I don't know it, that it would manage the hills of Todmorden. So I'm, I'm probably quite glad that uh, there's no petrol and I'm about to come on the train. But it's lovely to be here. Thanks for having me. Oh, great to have you here. So you've got a few songs for us. What are you going to start with? Well, I thought uh, I'd do a little segue uh, into... It's two numbers and it will seamlessly glide into the second song. So, I should just state... This is my... Oh, isn't that as gorgeous, isn't it? That's 98 Musical Saw. Now, my agent, Ken Worthington, who you might remember, Andy. I certainly do, yes. Be Soul agent and manager and next-door neighbour. But you're a man of a certain age, like myself, and you'll remember that he came last on New Faces in 1973. He's yeah. savaged by Tony Hatch. He wasn't? was. And do you know, Tony was so angry, there was a little bit of saliva at the side of his mouth. Do you remember that? No. No. Well, I do. Now, Ken doesn't like this sound because it frightens him. And pff, you can hear why. But I think that's partly because he used to see a hooded axeman at the end of his bed uh, when he was a teenage lad. But do you know what, uh, Andy? That's because he used to read Captain America comics before he went to sleep. I used to read Tufty. I had a lovely night's sleep. 
you know. Anyway, here we go. With oh. What's this one called? Well, this one is called... Yes, this organ was in the loft, you see. Oh, yeah. But on my new tour, I've got this one out again. And I've got my other organ, which was too heavy to carry on the train. So, oh. it's called Caravan Capers. Hope you like it. The, oh, I forgot the words already. This happens, Andy. Um, and, uh, you know, you just got to be patient. Hang on, because the house plants have been watered. We've cancelled the milk and papers. Bid farewell to neighbours. It's time to take a well and break and embark on caravan capers. We bolted the doors and windows. Bid farewell to neighbours. If anyone calls, say we're on our halls, indulging in caravan capers. Oh, how long will it take us? What rural thrills await us? I long to be at the water tap, enjoying banter with a fellow camper. Caravan keepers. Oh, gorgeous. Caravan keepers. Oof, hang on. Oof, oh, oh, bit jazzy that. Oh, here we go. The campsite sounds amazing. The facilities are wide ranging. Although we may throughout our stay be surrounded by animals grazing. Yep, phrase so. With barring lambs to wake us. How happy our stay will make us. A leisurely groom in a gents washroom and then a hearty full English breakfast. Caravan keepers. Oh, oh. Hey, what's happening? That's called a key change, Andrew. I'm looking for the tempo button. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Up to. 164. You can be alright with that. Go down on your knee to the honeybee, for she is very nice. Before you kill her with a rolled up mirror, think twice how will that bee's mother feel when she finds out her child is a ghost. Kill the bee, and ultimately. You'll have nothing to spread on your toast. <laughs> yeah, and it's the same with the jasper. Uh, you know, that's wasp, Andy. You know, some people don't know that a jasper is a wasp, um, but in Sheffield, a jasper is a wasp, and uh, yeah, they help to pollinate uh, pears. So they do have a use after all. Well, they do. But you remember when we were little, we used to. Um, squash them with a spoon if you're having a picnic. Or catch them in a jam jar with sugary water. That's right, and you mustn't do that. You must oh. leave them right. to roam. Right. Do you like that? I did very much. Or them, because there were two, two songs. We should point out to the listeners that um, Caravan Capers is one of the tracks on your latest album, which is the A1111. The A1111 and other ones. And other ones. Surely. Great album. Thank you. And there's a book. Because you've been having a number of um, domestic dilemmas, haven't you? As we all have during the uh, lockdown, of course, uh, Andy. But yes, this book, Two Margarines and Other Domestic Dilemmas, it's a real page turner. Look, I'm turning the pages now as we speak. <laughs> Can you hear that? And um, some people that want, might, oh, might want to keep it in the lavatory. That's fine. Be uh, it's in a book you can dip into. Some. Oh, hey. Just drop the book on the... <laughs> so that's like um, late at night on Radio 3. Have you ever tuned in by accident? Awful, isn't it? Why do they do it? <laughs> they try and be experimental, don't they? Yeah, and it's not on. I used to be on there. Did you now? Yes. <sighs> late at night on Radio 3. Well, you didn't tell me this. Well, if I'd known that, uh, I wouldn't perhaps have declined your invitation. <laughs> How how do you get on there? Because I like, I could come on and do this, couldn't I? <laughs> yeah. Is it? 
But yeah, it's, uh, the book is available. Very good. It's called Two Margarines and Other Di D Domestic Dilemmas, is that it? It is. It is. Yeah. It is that, uh, Andy, yeah. Like whether to eat in or out? Don't or? shuttle this guide to everyday life. No, it's more things like, uh, what do you do to avoid tripping up over the open dishwasher door? Right. Have you got a dishwasher, Andy? I have, but I never use it. Well, but maybe if you did, then this, this dilemma would become apparent. Because what happens is you trip up over it, you forget that the door's open, you might turn to the worktop to pick up a, a, a plate or a knife or a, another piece of cutlery. And then you turn back to the machine, you've forgotten that the door's open and you trip and you fall. And this book will tell you how to avoid that. Well, I'll be honest, it doesn't. It says you can't avoid it. But what you can do is put... Uh, some foam rubber down your socks to cushion the blow. And yeah, stuff like that. So how to locate the microwave plate on the that thingy in the middle. Because it skids about, doesn't it? Oh the plastic thing yes. underneath the, the glass. That's right. Yeah. 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 Ah, very useful. Well hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully, Andy, yes. I'm sure I'm sure listeners will all want to buy a copy. Well can is it uh, can I um plug the website? Yes. Right. Well, it's www.shuttleworths.co.uk. Now, I've noticed people don't say www anymore at the beginning. Well, it's And why? Because it may be V or P or something. Well, yes. No? And, and it's the only abbreviation I can think of, which actually takes longer to say than the thing you're trying to abbreviate. Well, that's true. World Wide Web is much quicker. Is that what it stands for? Yeah. I didn't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Shall we have another song? Well, why not? What do you fancy doing? Well, uh, I'm going to play um, something that's uh, quite an oldie. Mind you, the last two were oldies. Well, it's... You know, the young people have had a tough time, haven't they, in lockdown? The mental health has suffered. I'm all right, thank you. Uh, me and Mary, we get on fine. Though having said that, you know the other day, no, no. I was putting my cagoule on, in readiness for a trip out to Toadmouth Rock in Derbyshire, and it got stuck. And as I was trying to pull it off, I felt this resistance. What it was, it, the Velcro on the cuff of me, cagoule had become ensnared in my wife Mary's hair. And um, she was watching the Craft Channel, taking notes to try and get some glitter pens. That's by the way. Now, luckily Mary managed to free herself, but she was furious with me, and it nearly caused her to leave me. But she didn't, you know, everything's fine. But my mental health is fine, but young people have suffered during the pandemic, so this one's for them. Right. Oof, that's a bit vibrant. Crazy. Listen to this, Phil. Listen to the bass. <sighs> Disaffected you. Unkempt and uncouth Dropping litter everywhere Changing the colour of the air You know, turning it blue Oh, that disaffected youth That's right Disaffected youth Surly and aloof Showing old folk no respect Damaging the equipment in the wreck they're a pain in society's neck. Oh, those disaffected youths. How now, young madam, don't turn into a badden. How now, young laddo, stop lurking in the shadows. You may find one day that you're swinging from the gallows. Did that wrong, Andy? It should have had more impact. Can you do edits? Yeah. Well, you don't have to. It should have gone swing it from the gallows. Oh, 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 disaffected you. 
on my carport roof When asked to give full name and address He don't comply with my request Just bares his teeth and beats his chest Oh poor disaffected you Oof, there goes my proof He's a disaffected youth Well, yeah. Very good. I'll tell you what, John, make yourself a cup of tea, make yourself a tome, and uh, I'll uh, I'll stick on another record, and we'll have... Can what? you play the doolies? <laughs> no? See, so, so why is that funny? You've lost me. And I bet you're not going to play Brother of the Man, either. No, I'm not. <laughs> but, uh, well, I'll make a cup of tea, then. And we'll have more live music from John Shuttleworth here in the kitchen yeah. a bit later in the programme. Hey! Go on. Oh, are we ready? Yeah. We're back with John Shuttleworth down in the kitchen for hey. some more live songs. Do you like heavy metal? No. Oh. <laughs> oh. But your heavy metal's probably acceptable. That's speed metal. You were just listening to Coupe Clue from Haiti in a track called Gazon Bozo which means a confident, swaggering youth in Haitian Creole. John, what have you got for us? Well, during the lockdown, uh, I've noticed most people have been very creative. Like my agent, Ken Worthington, he's been um, writing poetry, he's been playing his clarinet again, he's even uh, made a sourdough starter. Do you know what that is? <laughs> Neither do I. But it's upset me because I've, and as I've already stated, my wife Mary, she's been watching the Craft Channel, she's been doing colouring in, uh, dot to dot, you know, all those sorts of things that uh, Joan Chitty, her friend, has. Oh, yes. um, She's joined the Pottery Group. Uh, she's writing her first erotic novel, apparently. Yeah, because Joan lives on her own, you know. And it's a while since um, a budgie died, Les. <laughs> yeah. And she said she's she missed her X-ray. Now I thought she that she'd missed a hospital appointment. What she meant was that her ex was called Ray, and that she she was missing him. But anyway. Um, I've written one song in 80 months, and um, here it is. <laughs> you know, the style, I wanted it to be country and western, but it didn't come out like that. Listen to that. That's your kind of thing, isn't it? Is it blues? Yeah, sort of. Yeah. But, Andy, before I start the song, yeah. during the intro, yeah. have you still got a video recorder? I have, a VHS, oh. yeah. Well, you're in the minority, because for a lot of people, you may be wondering what your video player's for It's a possession you tend to ignore It fills a gap between the telly and the floor But you don't use it anymore Oh, what a shame Please try to recollect The thrill you felt when you first spied that deck Heard the clunk and whir as the tape slid in the slot And now you want to chuck it <gasps> Better not Stay at home and protect the VHS <laughs> If you don't, you'll have one VHS less How important it is, I cannot stress To stay at home And protect the VHS Ooh! Hey, do you like that? Hey. I didn't know I could do that. So find that episode of Bergerac you taped off the TV back in 1988. Enjoy the muffled sound and the fuzzy picture too. Then watch a love joy. Maybe watch two. Oh, look, there's a Taggart, with the original with Mark McManus. And there's a uh, whole series of the Waltons. Dukes of Acid. Julia Bravo, remember that, Andy? Only, uh, only the end, but you know, it doesn't matter. Fantastic. Oh, DVD is not for me. Protect the VHS. Blu-ray, no way. Save the VHS. You can't relax with Betamax, though. Some say it was best. I thought it was a breakfast cereal supplement. 
Didn't you, Andy? Peter Max. Is it? Yes. I don't know what it. Anyway, stay at home and protect the VHS. Stay... Oh, got onto reggae. Oh, it might seems to work. Stay at home and protect the VHS. If you don't, you'll have one VHS less. How important it is, I cannot stress. Just dip. Oh, where's it gone? Stay at home. Oh, that's it. Stay at home and protect the VHS. That was very moving, John. A song for our times. It was, but listen to this, Andy. Do you recognise that sound? Someone's left the telly on. That's what used to be on at night, if you left the telly on. If you fell asleep, yeah. you woke up, that's what you got. Oh, have I got to switch it off then? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's number 99, uh, Sine Wave. And this is why I like this organ, Andy, because it's got lots of funny sounds like that. <gasps> What's that? Hey. Is that a test? That's what... My worry is it could attract aliens. Yeah. And then one of us might be ab abducted. I'll tell you what, the only way to get rid of this is to take it out of audio range using the portamento wheel. Can you hear it disappearing? Yes, over your eyes. There. It's out. Only a young child would be able to hear that now. Or a dog. Or, or a dog. And in fact, your dog is still um, behaving strangely. Ooh. What did you make of that? Was, was it worth waiting 18 months? It was, it was. It was lockdown was worth every minute just to... Uh, Why did you laugh when you heard the uh, VH stay at home and protect the VHS? <laughs> Is it because it was a pun? Yeah. yeah. It's just that when they first said that, uh, Matt Han the disgraced Matt Hancock, I thought that's what he was saying. So I started watching lots of videos and then it was only later I realised he was saying, you know, protect the NHS. Yeah, but um, that's my four songs. Very good. Can I go home now? Oh no, I'm staying the night, aren't I? Yeah. Because it's getting dark, I notice. I, I think it's been so good. Um, I've loved it, yes. I, I, I'd, uh, I'd beg for just one more and Ooh. then, then we'd, we'd be done. Oh, All right, I can give we, you one we more. Mentioned, yes. We mentioned your, your new book, Two Margarines, and the latest CD, the Air 1111. Yes. Um, <clears throat> you've got some, um, you're going to be doing some some dates, you're going on tour, aren't you? Yes, I am, Andy. Um, I'm currently touring. I mean, I was furloughed during uh, the lockdown. I, I gather you weren't quite so lucky, but I was. I managed to get 80% of my petrol money. My agent, Ken Ken Nichols here. Yeah, basically. he did, using uh, his experience and his cunning. He got me 80% of my petrol money. I've been netting about £11.33. And this is a month, Andy, you know. So I'm laughing. Some of us haven't been so lucky. I realise that my heart goes out to those people, including yourself. But now I'm back doing dates and um, doing the hospice. The only problem with the hospice is they tend to wander back to the rooms. <laughs> you know, if if, um, if it's too boisterous. So I tend to play gentler numbers, ballads. Uh, Rock a lullaby, number 28. There's you another know, train gone by. Yeah. One of the main lines between Leeds and Manchester. Goes yeah. Almost through the kitchen. I like it. It's Good. exciting. It makes you think uh, that you could go on holiday at any moment. Yeah. Or go and kill yourself. <laughs> yeah. But hopefully that won't happen. It's been lovely uh, to but see But yes, you. sorry, uh, I'm touring uh, yes, the nation. I'm, I'm going to uh, lots of places. You can you can see on my website. Well, these days you just Google a name, don't you? And it comes up. Well, all the dates will be there. People there should be, yes. Um, uh, but the thing is, Ken's had to rearrange the dates so many times. They're spread out over many, many months. It goes into next year, March, April, May. A lot of my listeners are what we call musos, John, and they'll be fascinated to know which keyboard you're using today. Yes, I know what you mean. Uh, it's a Yamaha yeah. PSS 680. All right, and how old will this be? This is, I think, mid-80s to late 80s. Um, I know your equipment isn't that sophisticated, but if it had a very high frequency uh, pickup, it could... Can you hear that little whine? Now you can hear it now. 
that's because it's an inferior model. It uses uh, PCM or something. Uh, oh, a bit dodgy, that, isn't it? Um, I've got an, another model called the PSS 51, which I think is from 1991. And uh, that is, you know, relative in Rotherham. Yes, yes. And all the other, the other songs you like. They're, yeah. they're on that one. Oh, and right. that has the fun pads with the... Uh, good drumming on relatives in Rotherham. There is at the end, yes. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, very good. Yeah. What are we going to finish with then, John? Well, all right then. This one is, I've got, oh, I've got to find it, Style 88, I think it is. Um, oof, it's not that. It must be Style 82. Ooh. That's more your kind of thing, wasn't it? Is it Dixieland? Here we go. Got to make, this is Baroque Quartet. I was at a conference for security personnel that just completed the opening address when I started to feel unwell. So I put down me fact pack and tiptoed out to the gents for a quick splash down. Then popped to the bar for an orange juice and saw as I sat down an unaccompanied lady sitting at the bar. On a complete lady, I wonder who you are. That was easy to ascertain, for there on her lapel, a badge which bore the name Denise from the Derbyshire town of Bakewell. She was a beauty, oh so fine, I trembled as I saw her stoop to retrieve a packet of nuts she dropped upon the floor. Oh, an accompanied lady sitting at the bar. Oh, an accompanied lady, I wonder who you are. Oof, a bit classical. Well, it is classical. At that moment a man appeared, her husband, I presume. He kissed her and briskly whisked her away back to the conference room. I saw them later at the carvery, sharing a leg of lamb, and cursed myself for forgetting briefly that I'm a married man. Oh, an accompanied lady, join him and feel confident, sitting at the bar. Oh, an accompanied lady, I wonder who you are. Oh, oh an accompanied lady, sitting at the bar. Oh, an accompanied lady, I wonder where you are. No, I don't really, Andy because I'm a happily married man. How is Mary? Well, I'm not going to, don't, oh, I just suddenly realised she might hear that song. Yeah. Maybe you shouldn't broadcast it. Well, to be, I'm not being rude, but she listens to Jeremy Vine. All right. Yeah. She won't find my podcast. She'll no. never find me. No. Don't worry about so it, right. Yeah. Well, yeah, yes, she's right. fine. She's doing a, she's making greeting cards with the glitter pens. Good. And uh, being very creative. Good. And uh, this feels like a creative house. You've got a nice pine table. Um, maybe I'll write more songs now. Do you think I should, or do you think I should just rely on my back catalogue? No, I think you should carry on writing. And Why? Chronicling our times, as you did with Stay at Home and Protect the VHS. Yes. And, and Disaffected Youth. Yeah. yeah, and Go Down on Your Knee to the Honeybee. Yeah. No, oh, and you're welcome here any time, John. Well, thank you. If, you. if you find it a creative atmosphere and environment, then you come and write your next album here. I've noticed Andrew's got uh, lots of books on the bookshelf, but they move, Andy. Um, I thought, because, you know, if you go to a pub in the countryside, they have them glued together sometimes, don't they? And sometimes they're not even real books. No, and that's fine, because it's just a decoration. Where do you see the number of books upstairs in the lounge? Really? So... Why is your lounge upstairs and your um, kitchen downstairs? That's a bit uh, trendy. Because normally the lounge would be downstairs and the bedroom's upstairs. What we've got, see, half the ground floor is the kitchen yes. and the other half is an enormous garage. Oh. 
And you, you couldn't have your garage on the middle floor, could you? You couldn't, no. I, I covered uh, Jones Bellingo. In fact, let me just finish with... He won't use this, but... Normally I play this on the other organ, but it goes... I'll just sing the chorus. This is Joan Chitty, is it? Joan Chitty, she... I come... No. I cover Jones Bellingo. Heated seats and big window. Boy, look at that thing go. I cover Jones Bellingo. That's rubbish, isn't it? Uh, no, it's... But the, the reason that I like uh, the Bellingo is it's got uh, lovely compartments to store your travel mints. Um, where there's originals in my case. In fact, I'd love a Werther's original now. So, if you don't mind, Andy, why don't you introduce the next record? Very good. I'll go and do that. Yeah. And thanks very much for coming all the way to play for us today. And uh, What's for tea? You're welcome any time. <laughs> it sounds like you're not to buy some for, for tea. Of course you're staying oh, for your tea. Um, that would be lovely. Well, it's been a great pleasure. John Shuttleworth, it's been wonderful. Thank you very much indeed. It's been a great pleasure, Andy. I just hope that I get home safely, back to my wife's shepherd's pie. I can't go back to savoury now. That shepherd's pie was stunning, but I'm halfway through me pudding. Can't go back to savoury now. My taste buds would go crazy. I can't go back to savoury. It's on the top stairs, is it? Yeah. Just on the ground floor there, John, by the stairs. Thank you.